G'day guys, Batch here, welcome back to the channel and the Hunter Classic. I have a moose coming in, just wanting to cross the river. And a prop behind this rock, and just wait for him. Uh, the summer fiesta has started, so I entered a competition where you have to shoot a black bear. Get a few around here, get a few moose, elk, black tail and white tail. So I've come to Red Feather Falls. It's a nice reserve actually. I like coming here. I think I've only got one tent and one tower up. Oh, and a tree stand. That's about it. But I do like coming here and just hunting naturally. Just walking around. Calling in animals, seeing what I can find. Shooting them. Can't call bears in, in the Hunter Classic. Just got to come across them, or hear them growl, track them down. And this moose is slowly making its way across this river. It's not a very big moose. Pretty small, actually, as moose go in this game. But I will shoot it anyway. Just letting it get a bit closer. I have slugs in the shotgun. So I'll probably go for a heart shot here, and we'll see what happens. Not going to shoot the female, just the male. Well, he's a pretty tough moose. Obviously missed the heart shot, but I think he's got three slugs in him. So he should be doing a lot of bleeding. I'm going to be doing a bit of tracking. Let's check this out. Uh, he's bleeding a bit. Let's just track it down. Hopefully it won't get too far. Maybe just over this ridge. We might even come across the female. They tend to hang around. Might be able to shoot her, but main aim here today is to get a black bear or two. I have gotten a few nice ones down here, but I'm just going to shoot pretty much any bear I come across today. I started this hunt from my tent. I have it pretty much in the middle of this reserve, right on the river. It's a nice spot to pop in. You never know what you're going to find. Every now and again, there's just a bear right outside your tent. It's about 7 in the morning, so nice and early. As you can see, it's a bit foggy. The sun isn't all the way up yet. Hopefully it doesn't rain too much today. These reserves do rain a bit. We might have our moose over here. Let's have a look. Well, there's the female. She looks a bit lost, so the male must be down. Not sure I'm going to shoot her, really. Uh, she looks a bit sad and despondent. Give her a call, cheer her up. We'll go pick up the mail. And there he is, he just got across the river and dropped. Not a very big one at all. Look at them antlers, they're only small. Female still wandering off. All right, we'll let her go. She's not interested at all. Probably a bit spooked. Now let's cross the river. Haven't been to Red Feather Falls for a while. It's nice to be back here. I like hanging around the rivers along here. Get a lot of bears. So I'll probably walk across them a bit. If you go on the hills, you get a lot of bucks. On part, you get a heap of white tails and no bears. The other part, you get black tails and elk. So I'll probably try and hunt a bit of everything today. Here's our moose. Let's check it out. Yeah, all three shots hit it. It's only a tiny one. Okay, I've sighted our first bear of the day. Doesn't look like a very big one. Check it out. I will be using the bull pup on this. And once it hits that bank, I'm going to take a shot at it. Here we go. Oh, 
Well, first shot hit it. Maybe the second shot. Let's run over and check it out. The ball pup will do a lot of damage. Pretty powerful gun. So I thought I'd bring it today. Here we go. Got a bit of blood. Let's track this thing down now. Hopefully it won't be too far. Well, there it is over there, dead. So the second shot must have hit it. Because I don't think that first shot would have put it down that quick. It's more of a butt shot. Hit it in the intestines. So the second shot must have hit it along. And it has put it down. So the first bear of the day. Doesn't look very big at all. You see the hole there. You don't get that in a call of the wild. You can actually see the wound. Let's check it out. There it is. Yeah, two of those shots hit it. That second shot must have bounced off its leg and into its lung. Pretty weird. It went down. Got an AK okay looking white tail over there. Gonna take a shot at this with the bull pup. Give it a call. Just try and slow it down. It's pretty far away, so it probably won't turn around and come to me. Let's have a look, what's it doing? Shaking its head, walking off. Gonna have to shoot it. Can't let it get over that rise. Oh, nice result, no tracking needed on that one. Just got to run across this swampy area. Get a few deers around here. Like I said, am looking for bears. But I'll take any then I come across. Especially not a bad white tail. It's no record breaker, but it's okay. I've only got the two guns today. The shotgun and the bull pup. Just travelling light. It's going to waste a few bullets have a hunt. So how I go. Won't do any good in the summer fiesta, that competition's too long. Pretty much got to shoot every animal in the game. And I really couldn't be bothered. Nice distance on that shot just shows how accurate that bull pup is. I've had a call and I've clicked the hunter mate and I've got an unknown species which is apparently over here. So I'm just going to sneak over, have a look with the binoculars because we should be able to see it standing there, right? Just called from there, just made a noise, and it wasn't the moose. There's got to be some sort of Bigfoot over there. What is going on? We'll have to go over there and have a little investigation. Let's see if we can see this thing. But I do remember watching the video, I think it was Who Cares? And he tracked down this thing, and even he couldn't find it. And if he can't find it, no one can. I'm going to try and spy it with the binoculars. If I see it, I will pump every bullet I have into it. I'll put this bloody thing down. I'll take a trophy shot. I'll even stuff it, even though I don't have a lodge. Yeah, the hunter mate's telling me that it's just there. It should be there. So unless it's invisible or the predator, I have no idea what the hell's going on. But I will wander over there and see if I can find a track or two. But I'm not going to spend too much time trying to track it. Like I said, who cares done it? And he's seen or tracked it all day. And he couldn't even spot it, so I don't know what's going on. Oh, we've got a white tail. I'm going to shoot this thing. Well, I hit it. I was in a very good shot, and I did hit it. So I have to go over there now anyway. So if the abominable snowman was over there, he would have run off by now. So that gunshot. I will track this. Um, it was sitting in here in the river, and then they all spooked. They're pretty hard when they're running to hit. You really just got to take where you think it's going to run and sit there and wait for it. Because they can bounce around like crazy. Oh, there's the tracks of this, whatever it is, Bigfoot. 
and it's gone that way. So I'm going to put a dot there so I can come back and have a look and see where them tracks go. Let's check this white tail out. Well, have a look around. I'm going to find the track where I shot it. I'm going to find the blurred on the ground. Should be just up here somewhere. Here it is. And it's a body shot. So probably the leg, shoulder. I'm not really sure. Once again, the bull pup would have ripped it a bit, so here it is. Nice pose. Not a very big one at all. Let's have a look. What's the back leg? Even through the scope, it looked like I hit the back leg, so there you go. Yet another tiny puny moose. Haven't seen a big moose in the Hunter Classic for ages. Just having a lot of bad luck with moose in this game. A lot of good luck with moose in Call of the Wild. But we'll shoot this thing anyway. It will have to die. There's still not many bears today. I don't know where they all are. I'm not even hearing any. I'm coming across some tracks, but they're old. So let's call this moose in. We'll most likely use the bull pup on it as well, as it gets a bit close. If it crosses the river, we'll use the shotgun. Oh well, at least the sun's out. I haven't spotted that um, Bigfoot thing. I did track it a little bit, and the tracks just go all over the place. And I'm not really here to do that, and I don't think there really is a Bigfoot. I think there's just tracks and the odd noise. Probably never see anything. And I'll probably watch YouTube tomorrow, so I'll have a video of, of them hunting down a Bigfoot and capturing it. Just be my luck. And there you go, just as I say, it's a nice sunny day. It starts to rain. I don't think this moose is going to cross the river. What the hell is it doing? I'll have to use the rifle on it. It's not cooperating. And the clouds have rolled in and spoiled my nice day. I'm not happy at all now. I just have to put up with it, I suppose. Here we go. Yeah, first shot looked okay. Looked like I hit in the lung. You see a lot of blood hit the ground there. That's probably what killed it. I don't even know if the second shot hit it. If it did, it was in the butt. I'll go check it out. Let's find a place to cross this river. So you got to watch it in the Hunter Classic. You can't go through deep water. You'll just stop. Here we go. Found a spot. That looks like a lot of blood. That's a lot of blood. Let's go pick it up. I'm surprised it's set intestines, so it looked a bit higher than that to me. Maybe my hunter mate's on the blink and my eyes are going. There it is. So small, they're all small today. Might as well be a bloody female. Hit the liver, so that's higher than the intestines and the hind leg. So I hit its leg. I've got another moose just up here. I don't know what the hell it's doing. It seems to be leaning on a tree. Maybe it's drunk. So I'll have to take care of this drunk moose. Oh yeah, it sounds off its face. So I'll move up quietly. And we'll use the right gun on it. Oh, 
Well, that sobered it up pretty quick. See it run off like that? Unbelievable. Thought I'd get at least four shots into it. Took off like a jackrabbit. Let's check what we've done. Well, it's another body shot. And looks about the best moose of the day. And probably the worst shot of the day. So I've got a bit of tracking ahead. We'll have to catch up to this. This will take another couple to put it down. Don't you worry. This thing will run for a fair while. I hate when this happens. But it's my fault. I took the shot. It wasn't very good. And there he is. Looks like he staggered down by the river and stopped dead. That do not look too good at all. So that slug done a bit of damage. I thought this thing would get a bit further. Let's put it down to bullpup. Yeah, looks like I might have went down just over that rise. Hopefully it has. Let's run over. Look at this reserve. It is beautiful. I just love it around here. What do we have over here? We have a bear, I think. Bull pup right up the kyber. That should slow that thing down. I'm pretty sure that hit. Still wandering on that. It's pretty far away. Let's reload. That was my last bullet in the gun. Usually run it right down. And sometimes to my disadvantage. So I didn't get a follow up shot in there. Okay, I'll put a dot on the map just across the river there where I shot the bear. It'd be a lot easier to track if I do that. And we'll run across and find this moose. Hopefully it did go down. Looked like it went down when it went over the rise. That's how it looked to me, and I'm hoping that's what has happened. Yeah, beauty. Here he is. Let's check it out. It is another puny small moose. So I'm getting all day. I suppose it's better than shooting females. And the second shot did lung shoot it. So there we go. The bullpup done a good job. Here we go. We've got our first black tail of the day. And just to keep with the trend, it is a tiny small black tail buck. How lucky am I today? Probably the best animal so far has been the white tail. And that was, you know, sort of average also. Don't worry, I'll shoot this thing. Not a problem. I have called it so it will come straight towards me. Apparently we're getting a new animal in the Hunter Classic. I have no idea what it is. Hopefully it's not another deer. Right, just stopped it there for a minute, didn't it? And just tips over. So, it was a good shot. Sort of looked stunned, then it ran, then it died. As you can see, when I hunt here, I usually don't go in the tower or anything like that. I just like to walk around. Red feather, I think it's the best way to hunt this area. This whole reserve, just walk around, have a bit of fun. Get a bit of everything, you'll get a bear, a black tail, a white tail, hopefully an elk if you go on the right side of the reserve. Are we getting into elk area because we've got black tail? Let's check him out. That body shot was good enough to kill it at 36 mean, it's not bad at all. Okay, we really have moved into some black tail area now. Got another buck, he's got a fair few does with him. He's bringing the whole family along for a stroll. I'm just going to have a look around because I put a few calls out. There might be another buck that I can't see. That might be better than this one. But the way my luck's going today, it'll be puny. It'll be small. It'll be no good. 
I'll probably take this one that's coming right at me. It's really taking its time too. It's in no hurry at all. I'll give it another call, try and hurry it up. I'll even get a little bit closer. Just to shorten this shot. It is taking forever. But there's a whole family of them. They're just everywhere. They're just going to have to wait on the buck. Come on up and over there he is. He's walking like he's on ice. I don't know what the hell it's doing. I haven't come across any more Bigfoot tracks. He seems to be back near that tent that I have up and I spawn in on. He was around on that island at the back of it. So I think it'd be a waste of time tracking that. Uh, this buck has just stopped. Stupid thing. Probably the female's in its way there, in its path. <laughs> There's still a few bugs in this game, here and there. Oh, there we go. They're all going to start walking again. Once it gets in the sun there, just up on that hill, I will shoot it. So a new animal for the Hunter Classic, I have no idea what it is. Ali's hoping it's going to be a bobcat. Would be nice if it was some sort of animal that did attack us, or had the opportunity to. Not us, just shoot it. So I'll have to wait and see what that is. I'm not sure how long before they put it in the game. Sure it won't be too long. Probably get a download soon and there it'll be. I'll go check it out and see what it is. Just don't put another goat in the game. We have one. I don't want no more rams, sheep or goats. And that's what you like to see. No tracking involved at all. We'll run across this river. Yeah, so if you come to Redfeather Falls and just hang around these rivers, so you'll get black tails, bears, moose, white tail. Get a mix of everything around here. So you just sort of pitch a tent in the middle of this thing and just start walking around. Instant hunting. Yeah, that real red blood looks like lung blood. And it is so uh, not bad at all. All right, about time I have come across another bear. It is taking forever. I've come here to hunt bears and sort of seen none of them. It's a female, so it's not very big. It's not going to win any competitions in the Sun Fiesta. All that hit. Let's get another one in the way. And it's running up to God. Where's it going? It ran up to the sky, and it looks like it's died in a tree. That's pretty weird. So that just must have been a glitch. Seems to be hanging up in the air. And there's another bear. We have another bear there. So there was two of them over there. I only saw the one. I spooked that one I shot at. And you watch, it's going to be out of render rain now, isn't it? I won't be able to see it. Okay, we'll run over and find this freaked out bear that sort of ran up to the sky and died in a tree. Should be on the ground by now. It's probably just a glitch. Might have been a visual thing. I have no idea. It was weird. And the last shot, I was aiming off the ground because it was in the air. And here it is. It is on the ground now. It's come down from the sky. I'll go pick it up. Be interesting to see if there's three bullets in this, because that third shot was sort of in the air when I took the shot. So the first shot must have hit the intestines. Then I took another shot. Or maybe that was the second shot. Or just a blood spatter. I did hit it three times. And that third shot, it was definitely in the sky when I took the shot. I've been tracking that second bear. Picked up the dead one. Now we've got the other one in front of me. And you know what's down here? A dead end. We've got a river, a sort of lake thing. It's really big. 
Let's pop a bullet into it. Because it's going to run into a dead end. Oh, I can shoot it up the car, but pass, I don't know. Second shot, and one of them stuck a rock for a bear's bum. I'm gonna have to go have a look, but I think I hit it with the first shot. And there is nothing up here, but this is where the lake hits. So if I can get it stranded up here, it'll be easier to track. There'll be a lot of logs and stuff. Alright, let's go get this thing. Got us a moose over there as well. There's our bear friend. I might double bag up here. As you can see, this bear has nowhere to go. It's good when you know the reserve, you know where you're going, where you're headed, and what's going to happen. Well, hopefully. At least I knew the situation. I'll get the shotgun out for the moose and put her down. Luckily, the bear died anyway, so... We would have been trapped if it hadn't died. I could have went across the river there, I suppose. Let's go get the moose now. This should be pretty easy. Because the moose itself has nowhere to go. It's right on the edge there. So we'll sneak up here. Maybe give it a call. And then we'll shoot it. There it is, there's our dead bear. Pretty sure only one shot hit that. I don't think the second shot I was aiming at the bear. I thought I was stuck a rock for the bear. But we will find out. And we will get this moose. Here it comes, it's gonna come right to me. This is good. Shotgun will make mince meat of this thing. It will destroy it. Uh, it should tempt it, should get it walking a little bit closer. It's really nice out here, look at that. I doubt it's going to be able to smell me. It seems to be blowing across a bit, doesn't it? So it should be right with that. So I've had a bit of a mixed bag today. A few deer, a few male moose. This will be the first female, I think. And only a few bears. But that's not too bad. Only went in the competition for a bit of fun and an excuse to come out to Red Feather Falls and have a hunt. This was the place I pretty much got the biggest moose of my life out here. It was out near where the white tails are, or on the other side. I was very lucky to get it. It did try and kill me. I just got the shot in first. Very lucky. And this moose won't be so lucky. Oh, hard shot straight down. I practice them. I try and get them in. You do miss a lot. But when you do get it, it's beautiful. Beautiful thing to watch. Just watch them go straight down as you destroy them. Yeah, it got the heart and the lung. So I'm very happy with that. Good shot indeed. No, we don't want a taxi to taxidermize this thing. As I don't have a... Trophy Lodge or Hunting Lodge or whatever you call them. Let's get the bear. It's got a few footprints on it. Oh, it's probably under its own footprints. There you go. This might be the biggest bear of the day. I'm not sure. Sort of looks okay. Let's pick it up. We'll see how many bullet holes are in this thing. I did take a second shot. And I think I was aiming at a rock and I was. Only the one bullet hole. And that was just good enough to kill it. Well, there you go, guys. Red Feather Falls. Really nice place to hunt. We used the bullpup today and the shotgun with the slugs. I do like the shotgun in this game. Have a lot of fun with it. We did get a call from Bigfoot and we did find his tracks. But we didn't find him. 
I hunted down a white tail instead. My next video will be from The Hunter Call of the Wild. And after that, I have another one coming which I have edited tonight. So you'll get a couple of them real soon. Just every now and again, I will put one out from The Hunter Classic because it is a fun game. Well, thanks for dropping by, guys. I hope you enjoyed our Red Feather Falls hunt. And I'll catch you on the next one.